Harold Pee Wee Reese, the Dodger captain who wore uniform number one, the heart of a Brooklyn Dodgers team that were regulars in the World Series and champs in 1955. Elston Howard sends a grounder to Pee Wee Reese, and these Dodgers at last are world champions. Delirious with joy. Carl Erskine wrote this about his teammate. Possibly the most popular player in Dodger history is Harold Pee Wee Reese. Even his nickname is magic, especially to youngsters. Reese is perhaps best known for his friendship with Jackie Robinson as number 42 endured breaking baseball's color barrier. As a team leader, Reese had a listening ear and a calming presence. On the field, Reese was a top-notch fielding shortstop and a very effective leadoff hitter. But there was more to Reese than numbers. As his Hall of Fame plaque put it, the Dodger captain displayed intangible qualities of subtle leadership on and off field. And here is one of the most dangerous clutch hitters in the game. Spark plug of the Dodgers. The captain, the Little Colonel Pee Wee Reese. He was called the Little Colonel, a nickname he picked up early in his baseball career while starring for the Louisville Colonels. But what about that other nickname? That name with three double E's, Pee Wee Reese the name that Erskine called Magic. For a little on that story, we can go to the back of Reese's baseball cards, which tell us he got his nickname from his marble shooting days as a boy, and that he was a marbles champ. His 1956 Topps card even says that Pee Wee got the nickname from winning the National Pee Wee Marbles Tournament as a youngster. The National Marbles Tournament was held in New Jersey. It's still around today, but in Pee Wee's day, marbles were all the rage. Hundreds of thousands of kids were competing in the game. Pee Wee himself talked about his nickname and marbles background on a radio show called Radio Baseball Cards, which aired in 1987. Here, Pee Wee explained that a Pee Wee was a small marble often used in tournaments. He also said that his own tournament run ended in the finals in his home state of Kentucky. But Reese, who was 14 years old at the time, tied for second in this 1933 tournament and he took home a pair of tennis shoes. As a youngster, Reese was not a star baseball player. Even in high school, he just played in a handful of games, which came in his senior year. In the 1956 book, The Pee Wee Reese Story, he is described as the little guy who was picked last in the Sandlot games. As for marbles, definitely he was taken seriously in that game. Baseball, not as much. Of course that would change, but it was the Magic Marbles nickname that stuck with him. <laughs>